Now with the new Film Punch plugin, it's a much more extensive plugin from something like the Filmmaker VFX Suite. So we have the Filmmaker VFX Suite here. And as we scroll down, we can see there's all different categories for the Film Punch from aspect ratios to the bad film, dirty grains, gutter film, lens damage, the Super 8 film frames, Super 8 grains, Super 16 grains, and 35 millimeter grains. So let's start by taking a look at the Super 8 film frame. So I'm just going to grab one of these and drag and drop onto my shot. And now the control panel is going to be much more elaborate. So you're going to have a control of a lot of features such as your film strength, your film scale, we can scale out the frame. We can change the blending mode for the frame. Brighten up the grains. And certainly change the opacity of the grains. Can also scale out the grains. And then we have a defocus value, so this is going to randomly defocus the footage. And then we're going to have some flickering presets, so we can just mess around with the brightness value and the variance. So as we start to play with this, we can kind of see this has a really nice, authentic look. And then we have our scratches, so we can just bump up and start to see some scratches. We can also change the color of the scratches, add some hairs, some dust. And then we have these jitter values for jitter amount and the jitter variance. And this is going to be how much the frame within uh, your footage starts to shake. We play that. We can see we're just getting a little bit of shake. And then we have a pretty cool uh, gate reel roll. So if we just bump up the opacity here and we give it some motion blur and play it back, you can see that we got that film gate roll effect. And scrolling down, we have the uh, chromatic abrasion. And that's just going to kind of start to split our RGB values. And we have our soft focus, and this is just going to soften the image for us. And then we have our light streaks. And if we just bump up the exposure here, you can see we start to blow out the lights. And we can change the color of the tint. And we're just going to have this little color value here. And then you can change the size of the streaks. And as you can start to see, this blows out the, the whites here. And if we change the glow amount. And then we can just change the direction of the streaks of these light streaks. And then we have uh, just a simple vignette. You can change that size right there. And a little film negative effect. And then we can just change the color of the, uh, the image itself by first just changing the color tint here. And then if we just change the intensity, you can start to see it's going to start to bleed all the green values that we picked. And we can just saturate it or desaturate this. Mess around with the hue. So I'm just going to shut this off for a minute. And I'm going to get something less dramatic. So I'm going to grab a Super 16, drag and drop it on my shot. And you can see we have the same control panels here. And down below we do have uh, the color contrast, a little black and white, a few different color presets, and this vintage chrome processor, just for a quick color grade. And then we have a bunch of lens damage looks. Uh, 
up above we'll have the uh, the lens damage strength and we can just bring that down a little bit just so it's a little less obtrusive and again like all the other plugins if you just roll your mouse over the thumbnail here you're going to get a quick preview of what that's going to look like on your footage and last but not least we have an aspect ratios so if I just drop this here and we're just going to have a bunch of different presets for our widescreen look. You can see we have the uh, 235 Cinemascope and uh, just uh, 178. And just a quick note, how you stack your plugins is going to determine a certain outcome. So for instance, I have this aspect ratio on. And if I were just to grab something like a gutter film, I'm going to place it on my footage. You're going to see up top that the aspect ratio is also being affected by the gutter film. So if I were to take my aspect ratios, drag and drop it below, now you're going to see we're not affecting that. So again, you have a whole bunch of tools here to really get a, an authentic film look using real film grains, real film frames. And I hope you enjoy this new update for CinePunch with the new Film Punch plugin. Enjoy. Enjoy.